Welcome to your training on carbon monoxide. I am Garth Haslam. Today's subject is carbon monoxide, and I'd like you to pay special attention to this one because carbon monoxide is a big deal. There are people being affected by carbon monoxide all around us. Um, it doesn't get the headlines, and sometimes that's a bit mystifying to me, but the the items, it seems like, in the home inspection items that should be getting headlines are not. And you've heard me, for example, uh, talk about radon and the science associated with that and the head scratching that's associated with that. But this one is a big deal. And how awesome would it be to know that perhaps you saved one of their lives or their kids' lives or just pre prevented disaster on some level? You know, that's what we're talking about in this course. This course, we're going to go over the effects of carbon monoxide, the sources of carbon monoxide, and so that you can know, if you, if you know where it comes from, then you can also know where to prevent. Uh, we're going to talk about the testing. We're going to talk about uh, more prevention and detection. And I'm going to finish up with a little segment on how to kill off your family. And that's just my weird, twisted way of reinforcing to you um, where you should make sure that your home inspector is looking. Because in many cases, uh, the training that a home inspector gets can be very different. Um, sometimes the training is nothing at all or precious little. Sometimes it's maybe an online course that may or may not include this kind of safety training. But in any case, uh, you want to know if the guy that you are hiring knows what he's talking about and if he is imparting the uh, wisdom that can uh, potentially keep your family alive. Briefly about me, a uh, home inspector for 25 years, an uh, environmental engineer for about seven years before I got into the home inspection thing, and um, it's been a good run. So, uh, next subject we're going to talk about, uh, get started with the effects, and we'll be right back.